Luis. Amor. Luis, ¿usted me quiere explicar eso, por favor? Es lo que se sale a hacer toda la noche. Yo que he confiado tanto en ti, mi amor, por Dios, si usted me sale con una vaina de esta. Amor, pero es que no es lo que parece, simplemente... Ah, no es lo que parece, Luisa. No es lo que parece. Estás mal interpretando las cosas. Luisa, ¿cómo yo voy a malinterpretar eso? Dígame. ¿Ya? Venga, niña, usted no se meta, ¿ok? Usted no se meta. Ah, no, ¿cómo la trato? Claro, porque tú estás malinterpretando las cosas. Yo te dije que estaba con ella dando una vuelta. Ajá. Ya, y entonces sale a dar las vueltas y pega las nalgas y ya, y hola, papi, como es un vuelta, y que no sé qué sí. Ay, la, que le no, no, mucho. No, pero ven, porque te vas a ir. No. Mira, ¿sabes qué, Lisa? No meto. Ok, no meto. Arranque, disfrútelo mucho, que le venga mucho. No, para que venga, hablemos de esto. No, ¿sabes qué? Todo bien, mija. No, mi amor. I bet you I was thinking the same thing that I was, like, bro. How is you pulling up on these street walkers as if you was about to pay for their services? You just as wrong as she is. You want to be mad at your girlfriend for selling her body on the corner when you was about to pay for somebody's body on the corner. This makes me wonder, where did you even find her? On the corner, maybe? You got to spend on the first date. How much would you spend on the first date? At least $500. On the first date? about a dollar $150 what would you get with the hundred and fifty dollars I mean a nice I feel like a I like a decent meal like <laughs> it's your wife yes. how you doing bro no. what's your name my name is John are you his missus no, yeah what's going on though homie why is your wife walking away you gotta pay to get my hair done my nails done my feet done so let me ask you this if he pays for all that right and a date doesn't go good are you gonna refund them hell no you gotta spend how I look and I look good so you gotta spend a good bag How much is that though? Um, as much as I want him to. Ah! <laughs> I say two fifty. Three hundred. So she lied. She lied. A band? Cause my that good for a band. Like what she talking about? No. How much do you expect a guy? If you expect a man to pay a thousand dollars, go out on a date with you, then you throwing the cat at him at the end because you said you giving it up, right? It's a thousand dollars, huh? That's what is that? What is that? That's process ho show. I had said weird, so YouTube won't come at me. But you know. No, how much do you expect a guy to spend on the first date? As much as he wants. At least a hundred. Like maybe like a hundred and twenty. Don't spend no money on the first date, at least fifty. What would you give with fifty? Steak. Steak costs almost five hundred depending on where you at. Five hundred. If we're going to a nice dinner, at least seven hundred. But if we're going to a regular dinner, four dollar me. She said seven bins. I Seven bands. bands. For what? That's how you know a ain't never go on an expensive ass date talking about some three thousand, seven thousand. Yeah. What about yeah. you? Boy, don't be my barking. This was talking about, but me personally, I don't really care who we eat. I got food at home already. But they think women want men as much as men want women, and that ain't the god case. I mean, she is the gift that just keeps giving. And of course, that statement reminded me of something. I don't know if anybody remembers, but a little while back, there was a study about how cis had men and women perceive each other's attractiveness. And I, I, I couldn't find it for the life of me, but I did find this. Most men find most women to be at least somewhat attractive. In contrast, women on average view 80% of men as below average in attractiveness. Another study found that on the dating app Tinder, men liked more than 60% of the female profiles they viewed, while women liked only 4.5% of male profiles. When I first heard this statistic, I was like, damn. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was bad out here for these men, but I didn't know it was that bad. One of the things that the patriarchy did is make women think that men were the prize. When in reality, they never have been. When I see stats like this, it's just more confirmation of that reality. This is how they brainwashed women into chasing dudes as if dudes are worth being chased. We don't love them hoes. Only, we only find 20% attractive. We only click in on 6.5% of their dating profiles. This patriarchy has top-notch stellar women out here chasing after these dusty, musty, crusty. Only 20% of which we're actually even attracted to. I just want women to realize we've been conned. We've been bamboozled. It's time to take off the patriarchy beer goggles. We are baddies. 
They are dusties. 60% of us are seen as viable dating options, and only 4.5% of them are. I mean, the disproportion is disgusting. So next time you wanna shed a tear over that dusty motherfucker who has zero ambition in life and is emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically draining you. Remember these stats, girl? The numbers are in our favor, not theirs. Stop putting them on pedestals because they never belong there in the first place. She really thought she ate. <laughs> she really thought she ate. Yeah, she proved the point, but it wasn't her own point. She played that clip not knowing what she was actually doing. The point that she was proving was hypergamy still exists. That hypergamy is a thing. This, These statistics, these facts, we already know them to be true about dating apps, but not for the reason that she said it was. Not because women are more valuable and, and the women are the ones that are, are the better option. They're, they're the ones that hold all the power. They're the ones that's the most desirable. No, what the dating apps show you is that women are more unrealistic and men are more realistic. If men are swiping and finding 60% of the women on those dating apps to be attractive and women are only finding 4.5% of the men to be attractive, then, then what is that really telling you? And of those 4.5% of men, what type of men are those? Ironically, the video that popped up immediately after this one did on TikTok was this video. Kia goes onto Tinder and proves that women are only there for one reason, to find Elevation? a man. Um. No, it's even worse than that, that they actually oh. want a man with money and status. It's proof. Oh, definitely. This is proof. Okay, so... Here, okay, just watch it. Oh, we might have to watch it twice because it's really fast. Uh, let's just bring the volume down. They're wanting a man with money and status. Wouldn't it mean that that man is the prize? The man that has the money and status can have a plethora of women. If you're disposable to someone that has a lot of resources, you are not the prize. But in my opinion, two good level-headed individuals, male and female, that come together to unite for the better cause, both are the prize. Look what this boy does. He sits, he sits here and make himself be a Powerball winner of 300 million. So did you see what he just did then? He's trying to pretend he's really right. Yeah, right. yeah, so he ripped off a, uh, a lotto ticket off a, of a real person yeah. and put his face on it and he put his name on it and he put it on Tinder. And he, did he, oh, and so if he didn't have, oh. oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna mute it. Wow. So proof, like 300, 343, 49, yeah, a lot of money. And wow. And there you go. He looks like a 16 year old kid. Like he looks like a 16 year old yeah. child. And he pumped out 120 matches. Pay close attention to what's about to happen next. You see, this man is doing this little podcast with a female voice in the background. So his female is, is chiming into this whole thing. Pay very close attention to what's about to happen with her. Within, I uh, look, 37 matches, seven, seven messages, and there you go. So. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. No, it's not. That's just the way it is. That's just the reality no, no, I mean, of like, what's it's happening. So sad, like, Why is it's it so sad, sad, Amy? Why is it sad? Why is it sad? Because he doesn't actually have that money. <laughs> and no, she's got to know. <laughs> he lied. You know what I mean? When I first heard her say that sad, I thought, yeah, I agree with you. That is sad, but not for the reason she stated. I thought it was sad because what are these women looking for? What are they after? They after a certain type of male. If you ain't made it blatantly clear on these dating apps that you got some status and some money. They probably not going to bother to talk to you or deal with you. Right. Dep and that also depends on where you stay too. And that also depends on the part of the world that you're in. But she said it's sad because he doesn't actually have the money and that he's tricking these girls. And he's she's over here taking the side of the women and not looking at it for the message that he's trying to put out is the fact that he couldn't get a single match on these dating apps until he flaunted that he had some money, some wealth. A lot of these women are not in it for the right reason. It should be love. It should be a connection, not monetary value or gain. Yeah, but what's the moral of the story is that 
women are attracted to, like, not the guy, they're attracted to what's around the guy. Yeah, that is the truth. Definitely. You heard that woman respond? She said, yeah, definitely. With no shame at all. Like, she couldn't agree more. Like, it was supposed to be that way. That women are supposed to be attracted to what the man can offer, not the man himself. So, the woman in the previous video, does she really know exactly what it is that she was alluding to? A great woman in this world. Dee Devlin is Conor McGregor's wife. She had supported Conor McGregor from day one. He was on welfare and she was working full time to help that man out. And you can see when you watch these interviews with him, that woman is like blindly loyal to McGregor in a great way. And he says it all the time. If I didn't have this great woman with me, there is no way I would have been able to ascend to such great heights. When you're a man and you have a good woman by your side that does not give you stress and she makes you feel safe and she knows that you like the world is yours. There's no treachery. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why these guys conquer. See, it's these type of women that make men great. The ones that are able to come into your life when you have nothing. Be by your side. Stay by your side as you come up. If you want to call a woman a prize, you got to call these type of women a prize. Because I'm going to tell you right now, any woman that is getting into a relationship with a man, and this man is already doing well for himself, uh, uh, let's just put a ballpark number on it. Let's say if he's earning 100 k to your 50 k in the back of his mind, he's going to be thinking, if I get with this woman, it's a strong possibility that somewhere down the line, she's going to want to leave me and take half of what I got with her. But if he is willing to make that sacrifice, it means that he really cares about you. He really likes you. He possibly even loves you. So who is more willing to love for the right reasons, the man or the woman? If you're a woman and you proclaim that you love this man, you won't try to walk away from him and take half of what he has worked so hard his entire life for with you? No, you wouldn't do that, would you?